Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny content-related video on the Rise of Iron Expansion. In today's video, you're going to be witnessing a trailer out of the Gamescom in Germany, Bungie's livestream. A lot of the stuff that's showcased in this trailer will be going over and breaking down the information momentarily on the channel this week, so stay tuned all week for some really awesome Rise of Iron content. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Moving forward, we're going to be breaking down five important steps that you should do before moving into Rise of Iron. Five things that will successfully set you up in the top spot and the top tier for Destiny players moving into Rise of Iron and being completely prepared to move forward into new events, gather new gear, and pretty much get above every other player on the game. Very first step, you're going to want to do your moments of triumph. Why? Well, it pretty much allows you to have two exclusive emblems and shaders already on your character that nobody in Rise of Iron that's new is going to be able to acquire. There are going to be those set few players that don't complete their moments of triumph in year two as well, and those players are going to be considered pretty much um, useless. I mean, if you didn't complete your moments of triumph in year two, a lot of people are going to look at them and not want them in their fire teams. Why? Well, it's the fact that they didn't get to complete certain events and it showed that they were weaker than others and yes that's not fair but it is how the destiny community has worked as a whole and if you have youtubers and twitch streamers willing to help you get through events make sure to utilize that my team violent privilege gaming is willing to add you onto the clan on bungie.net and help you successfully complete moments of triumph now if you want to join you can go on there otherwise comment down below and a lot of the clan members will see your comment and see that you need help, make sure to leave your PSN or gamer tag on Xbox and PlayStation and leave the event type that you need completed, and we'll try to send you a message to get a hold of you. Now, moving forward into Year 3 Rise of Iron, you are going to be able to wear your emblems and your shaders for Moments of Triumph, and the new players moving into Year 3, the ones that just bought Destiny because of Rise of Iron, and they're all excited, and they get into the game and they're like, wow, how do you get that emblem? How do you get that shader? You can look at them and stand with pride and say that I completed all the events in year two and sorry, you can no longer acquire this. It's only for year two players. Now, yes, there are going to be some year one players of Destiny that didn't even complete year two moments of triumph as well. But there's also those select few that completed moments of triumph year one and year two and they're ready to do the same thing in year three. So Guardians, the next four steps are going to help you get ahead of the game and help you move forward into Rise of Iron. Finishing quests. A lot of people think this is self-explanatory. A lot of people think that you might actually want to complete some quests to move forward in the game. What I mean by this though is going in a little bit deeper. You're going to want to get three characters on your account and you're going to want to complete every single quest line on all three characters. Why? Because it one, helps you material farm and move into the next section of the game and the next section of steps that we're going to do before Rise of Iron. But you'll have three guardians that are willing to actually help farm for items inside of Rise of Iron. If you only have one guardian moving into Rise of Iron, that gives you one chance to do every event every single week. If you have more time to play than that and you have three guardians, you could have three complete chances to do the Nightfall, to do the Raid, to do crucible events, to do all the new stuff being added into the game, that's three whole chances every single week to get gear that otherwise you might not get for 10 chances down the road. So make sure you shrink down that time of farming and have three guardians to help you farm every single week, therefore you get items a lot sooner. Now. This moves into step three of the process, okay? You have three guardians, you have three inventory spaces, you are gonna be able to get a lot of materials and a lot of stuff in your guardian before Rise of Iron. So let's move into step three, exotic engram farming. This doesn't mean exotic farming. You're not gonna go and break down the engrams. You're going to go an exotic engram farm. Put the exotic engrams either in your postmaster, your inventory space, or your vault. You're gonna wanna hold onto those. Why? Year one of Destiny, moving into year two, the Taken King, what happened was is the exotics became le legendary legacy exotics, basically pointless. They weren't useful in year two. The Icebreaker disappeared, the Galahorn dropped off of the face of the map, and yes, we are getting Galahorn back, that's exciting. 
but wouldn't you want a fair chance to get all of the other new exotics quickly and effectively? If you save up your, uh, your exotic engrams, there's a better chance you'll get new exotics because the year two exotic engrams are going to work in year three. Therefore, hurry up and get your chances for all the new exotics right from week one. It's going to help you out. Yeah, you might get a couple of the older year two exotics, but getting a year three exotic is going to feel very, very successful and approving and it's going to it's going to make you feel good because you can stand by your fire team and say that I already have one of the new exotics and I haven't even left for the very first event on the game. So before you get your very first quest in Rise of Iron, make sure to go break down those exotic engrams and see if you get anything new to play around in in the new games of Destiny. Moving onward, we've got the fourth thing that we need to do, and that's material farming. I went into this, you have more inventory space having three guardians. You also have the ability to stock up on some spin metal, spirit bloom, worm spore, relic iron. You can even stock up on armor materials and also weapon materials, motes of lights, strange coins. These are all known as materials that are going to be very beneficial to your game. One, strange coins are going to allow you to go to Zerd the first week and buy some new stuff. Then you can go and pretty much level up any weapon and armor piece right from the jump. If you get something new, you're going to be able to level that up because you'll have motes of light. Level that gun up. Then once that's leveled up, you can even increase the perks and actually accept the perks because you'll have the Relic Iron and the Spirit Bloom to actually successfully accept all those perks and upgrade the weapon completely. You'll be moving into Rise of Iron with some new gear, some new armor, some new weapons, and you'll already have it fully maxed out. Why? Because you took the time to farm several days before Rise of Iron. People that spend several weeks are going to have plenty of materials and they're probably going to last through the entire Rise of Iron expansion if they really wanted to. The final thing, and probably one of the most important, but not quite, is stocking inventory. This does move into the whole fact of exotic engram farming. Okay, you're, ex you're going to stock your inventory with exotic engrams. That's okay. You're going to stock your inventory with materials, but what else can you do? Stock your inventory completely full with all legendary weapons that you broke down that you don't want anymore. Legendary weapons are going to be easy for legendary marks. Legendary marks are used to buy gear and weapons out of the tower. The tower vendors are going to reset. That makes it very important to get all of your legendary marks as you possibly can. Any bounties like Iron Banner or Trials that will give you legendary marks as a reward save those on your characters make sure that you have all three characters with bounties completed so you can turn in the bounties and actually gain rewards for turning in the bounties gain legendary marks and make sure that all three characters make sure that your main destiny account has 200 legendary marks waiting when rise of iron drops if you have this you will have a better chance of grabbing new gear out of the tower immediately after launch date on launch date day one of rise of iron you're going to want to go to the tower spend your legendary marks, upgrade your gear, and also break down your exotic engrams, and you should be a very, very strong striving force in the new Destiny Rise of Iron expansion. And congratulations, Guardians. That's all the information and all five steps that you should complete before going into Rise of Iron. Hopefully this helps. This has been Hunter from Violent Privilege, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the next video.